Welcome back to the Bitter Betty Podcast. I'm Bitter Betty Deadhead, here with my two cohorts. Bitter Betty Tova. And Bitter Betty Carol with an E. And it's friend week. <laughs> so we're going to... Uh, it's friend week. <laughs> this one I've seen in the comments a few times, ready for you. So I uh, thought we would go ahead and we'll, we tried this one out. I think Tova's done it on her channel, right? Mm -hmm. so. I love this one. All right. So let's go. Standing on these stones, I'll plant these aching bones down. King without a throne, now waves are crashing out. I'm scrolling through my phone, there's no one I can call now. I guess I'm all alone, how did that end up here? Now pull yourself together, boy. Reconstruct like Lego toys. These thoughts you have could soon destroy the progress you have made. It's pulling down like gravity, emotional brutality. Just know the clock is ticking out. Nothing stays the same. Mm. I'm back up off the floor Cause I know that I got more In myself around two In my boat without an oar I still find my way to shore In this ocean blue I know you feel it I know you feel it Know you feel it Cause I can see it now And now I'm back off the floor cause I know that I want more and I'm ready for you pause it his voice yeah oh Amazing I know voice. well and I lo I loved the whole line about like reconstruct like Lego toys like because he really <sighs> was broken down uh and then he he had that second chance with somebody figuring out what it was and being able to get the stem cell you know transplant and stuff and so you know he says he's ready for round two and i'm just like he's ready for his second chance at life yeah at life you know that. what i mean so yeah. when he says ready for you he's not talking about a person he's talking about like his second chance Aww. is what i took from it but i just like i don't know this song really hits a i don't know kind of a, a sensitive spot for me right now because like i feel like that's kind of where i'm at just in a different way than him right. you know what i mean like a second chance at a different career uh, of sorts but like i don't know i just yeah. felt i felt this song was very like hopeful yeah and inspirational so i, I kind of giggled <laughs> Because the anim the animation, I was I just had to point that out. His lips look so big. <laughs> I know the animation is kind of funny, but uh, yeah, look, there it is. Look at the lips. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but he's still adorable. Uh, he's yeah, still no, adorable. Ren is undeniably adorable for sure. Yeah. Carol, you're quiet. What's up? Oh, I was just listening to you ladies talk, but I was going to say um, the the one line that stuck out to me, and I can't even remember it exact now because that always happens, but he basically talked about not having an oar, but yeah, he would- uh, in, get, in a boat with no oar. Yes, in a board. Yeah, right. Like, so, but, but he was still, still going to make shore. it. Yes. 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 I loved that line. Mm -hmm. I yeah, like that just, line a lot. And, and that, you're so right, Carol, that whole concept of- not having an orbit still being determined to reach the shore like that mm -hmm. and that's it yeah that's a nail on the head on that one for sure well and i think that like that ties into with you talking about like it, the song being hopeful right like right like no matter what at the end of the day i'm still gonna make it to that shore i'm still gonna get to where yeah. i need to go um it, it just might take me longer because i don't have that mm -hmm. or right like right. but i'm still gonna get there so yeah, that um, that type that, of determination, yeah, that. that's what I want for myself for sure. Like that type of yeah. determination. hundred percent. I'll so take good. it back. So maybe we can Yeah. Okay. In my boat without an oar, I still find my way to shore in this ocean blue. I know you feel it, I know you feel it, know you feel it, cause I can see it now. Now I'm back up off the floor Cause I know that I want more And I'm ready for you You've 
unleash the sleeping beast. beast. A mythical, biblical creature, a demon that's breathing. You best call a priest. priest. Or exorcist, wretched this boy who is taxing his dark side. I can't find no peace. peace. Belongs in asylums, no man is an island, so I'm a whole planet that speaks. Peace. The speaks of the pain is drumming like pain on my brain, and it's flooding the streets. So now me to this cross now. Crucify me, God, how am I meant to pray? If my hands are lay you down, I build my very own effigy that represents the pain in me. I'm burning it till it's my shame, seeking freedom for myself. Vibrations move the speaker, music my Mona Lisa. I seek my refuge in a melody, fix me up my dealer. I breathe it like it's ether, I'll drink it by the liter. When half your life is spent with death, you do not fear the reaper. For the plight of humankind remains the same. The biggest war we ever waged was the war we wage upon our own brains. A story is old as time. Duality dwells inside our thoughts. While we yin yang, we will hang on the noose with no support. I'm back up off the floor, cause I know that I got more in myself around two. In my boat without an oar, I still find my way to shore in this ocean blue. I know you feel it, I know you feel it, know you feel it, cause I can see it now. And now I'm back up off the floor, cause I know that I got more, and I'm ready for you. Mm. I like it. It's that. over? I know, yeah. I was like, wait, I'm not done. I'm not <laughs> done, I, don't, I want more. Um, oh, his voice in that is. Yeah, when I first heard the name, I thought it was going to be kind Funny, of those, those songs dirty. for you. Like, yeah, yeah and it, it turned out to be ex like such an inspirational song about literally just, you know, accepting, like, out of all the shit he's been through, and he's still not 100%, but he's still ready for round two, right? Like, he's ready for his second chance at life. Like, yeah. he thought his life was over. Mm hmm. And then it all came back to life. And not only did he, like, just freaking explode, he got the number one album in the UK last year as an independent artist. Like, that's nuts. <laughs> that is. That's crazy. Go Indies. I love independent artists. Yeah, 100%. You know, like, uh, and it just, it just, it shows how strong that independent game is because you look at him and Tom McDonald and even Adam Calhoun coming up. Like, Calhoun? independent artists like yellow wolf went independent after being signed and stuff like i believe driving is i still think yeah. he's still independent too he's still independent. Jennings, caitlin curtis yep. like i could think of quite a few that i that i follow i love all of them yeah uh knox hill black pegasus like i mean there's there's a ton there's a ton of independent artists the independent the independent artistry like avenue lane is just freaking thriving and this yeah. is just test, you know, and I, I think it's funny because I saw a lot of uh, posts where he was kind of snubbed from the, the Brit Awards, even though he had the number Ooh. one album, number one album in the UK. Was that and this, they still snubbed him. Was that this past the other night? Yeah. Mm hmm. Yep. And, and it was. Art. No, it does. And, you know, it's because, you know, he deserves to be up there 100 percent. But like they don't want to bring attention to the independent artists that are making it huge. The fact that he had the number one album in the UK as an independent artist, yeah, it goes against the system. It goes against the machine. It doesn't matter what country you're in. The machine is still the machine, yeah. regardless. The machine is universal. And they don't want independent artists to be winning because... It shows that we don't need them. No, they don't need them. Not, not really now, not with technology, oh, not me. with YouTube. Watching Ren and watching Tom, like those two, those are the two that I watch mm -hmm. the most. Like they, they've proven that you don't need the machine. You don't need you don't. the system. Yeah, I agree. So, I you know, it's, agree. it's a shame though, that they'll never get the recognition they so rightly deserve. I think Bitter Betty needs to do something about that. <laughs> Yo, I'm about to create my own motherfucking Grammy. Mm -hmm. Like we'll bitter the, Betty Grammy Award. No, we <laughs> won't the even bitter call Betty it, Award. We don't have to call it Grammys because that's already taken. No, but it's like <laughs> it's better. It's just, it's just, it's a shame. It's really a shame. But like, we need to create some kind of independent award system. 
or I something. Agree. There's got to be something out there because independent artists are where it's at right now. And the music quality is so much better. Like, I mean, you have something like WAP. Mm. Like WAP. Ben Shapiro style WAP, right? So vaginas. You got Pound Town 2 <laughs> talking about brown booty hole. Okay? And, like, I... I I mean, do we really need to continue, like, mainstream music versus independent music is kind of like a night and day type scenario here, no, right? It, like, Yeah, and when I go back to, like, and booty holes. And then when you go back to, like, Hyren, you listen to it and how he's fighting his inner demons, his sickness, you know. And how many people does that reach? Because, you oh know, like, God. mental health is such a huge thing right now, like. There's so many people who deal with it and they think they're alone and songs like that show them they are not. Right. And no one else, no one else but independent artists are touching on that type of stuff. And the ones that are touching on mental health are pushing prescription pills. Yeah. Yeah. So. Absolutely. I agree. But that was a, a great song by Ren. Yeah. And I love the message that went yeah. with the song. Um, and like I said, I got lost in it. I, would, I wasn't even, I was like, wait, it's over. Like, I didn't even expect it to be over. I was like, wait, that's not the ending, right? Like, that's like when you're watching a good movie and you're like, hey, like, <laughs> you know, like, I know. It, like, the way it ended. I love so, the animation. Um, I do. I love the animation. Well, I like the yeah. fact that we had the animation, like, but you still had almost like a, like the real picture or whatever yeah. behind it. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. the, um, the ocean, you know, yeah. like the whole thing. Yeah. The whole thing wasn't animated. So. Um, I, I liked that a lot, but we, I also just like the animated videos a lot. So, um, I still think it's, I don't know why it, big in that. <laughs> yeah. Well, I love, uh, I just, I love Ren's it. artistry so much. The way he thinks is just intriguing to me. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Crazy. I agree. Well, guys, that was another song from uh, from our lovely Ren, um, Ready For You. And it is Ren Week, so Hash stay tuned. Hashtag Ren we'll, Week. We yes. will be here all week with Ren. So, and then make sure you stay tuned and pay attention to the live that will be coming. Um, the time will be announced soon um, for March 9th. So yeah. um, make sure that you guys are paying attention. And one more thing. Uh Y'all, if y'all could, like, maybe hashtag Ren Week or, you know, even tag Ren. See if we can get his attention. Let him know that, you know, Bitter Betty's is doing a whole week dedicated to him. And we know that his birthday is March 9th, 29th. So, maybe an early birthday yes. present. <laughs> yeah. Hashtag we Ren like Week. That. So, yeah. May, you, I was going to say something else, but we're going to leave it alone. But, um, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Until next time, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you then. It's Ren Week. This means for one whole week, the Bitter Bettys will be reacting to nothing but Ren. On March 9th, the Bettys will be live with a donation party. Deadhead, which is me, will be painting a Ren portrait as we are live. Any donations will go towards winning this. If you won't end, please make a donation to Cash App or PayPal. Please do not use the super chats for this donation as they will not be counted every five dollars is a spot for your name on the wheel don't worry if you can't make the live we will be taking donations all week for this and your name will go on the wheel for any more information please check the description it's a simple situation with an obvious equation you and me collaborating for the night Leave no room for hesitation or for awkward conversation Just enjoy the syncopation when it's right You came in uninvited, two planets collided